The vision for 25 King from an Oricon perspective has exceeded my expectations. We were hoping to create an unconventional building that would be attractive for our staff and our clients and it's certainly been that. For me as a structural engineer, uh, my vision uh, has been realised just in the fact that, that you can walk around and, and see the beautiful structure. The timber itself has a, a wonderful vibe to it, so we knew that it would, it would really embody what we wanted as a brand. Um, the, uh, it's, it's really a, a playful building with serious intent. I think the partnership with Oricon was very successful, not only from the point of view of the commitment and from um, you know, the skills that Oricon as a business bring to designing and delivering buildings of this nature, but also in terms of the way that Oricon bought into the whole idea around timber. They saw the benefits, the innovation, they saw the opportunity for them to take that intellectual property and, and, and provide it to other clients, but also to use this workspace as a showcase for what is possible in, in construction methodology and what's also possible in terms of state-of-the-art workplaces. One was the market was very tenant favourable. At the same time Oricon was looking at new ways of working, how they could change the environment to support the way they wanted to work moving forward. So we were part of that discussion with the Oricon team about how we could achieve what they wanted in the market and, and do a, a great deal, get a great financial outcome. Everything's done off-site, it's done in a factory, um, it's all cut to size, all cut to shape, all the connections are installed so that when it actually arrives on site, it's not a lot of effort to actually put it all together, which is very different to traditional construction. So some of the benefits in timber construction really revolve around speed of construction, so we have um, fewer hours of lifting fewer people on site when that's, those lifts have to happen. Fewer people on site means that there's fewer um, interactions, fewer constraints and really less risk of, of things going wrong. People have a really strong reaction to being able to see nature but also be able to engage with nature as well. Um, and timber is one of those obvious things and it just brings that warmth. Um, there's a lot of research now that's starting to show that um, the, the visibility of those elements like timber specifically actually has an impact on people's health and well-being. With the building being a timber design, the traditional design process was tipped on its head where we had to really lock in certain design elements to suit the timber manufacture and delivery in an order that was really different to what we were used to. So Oricon's uh, multidisciplinary and um, digital tools came together to get that information ahead of time so the timber manufacturing could begin even before we'd finished the design of the rest of the building. It was a real first for the entire design team, for the architects, for the, um, the land lease team and for the Oricon team. We'd had, um, we really hadn't seen this before. We have designed the building with a focus on collaboration, so not so many different spaces for staff to meet uh, both formally and informally, different types of meeting spaces and staff hubs and we're really seeing that come to fruition already with, with staff loving to use those different spaces. We've had a real focus on health and wellness as well. So firstly the timber building itself is, is a fundamental part of that and how humans uh, react to biophilia, to, to, to natural materials like timber and plants um, and you will see them scattered throughout the building and, and certainly it gives a real design studio vibe and, and staff are giving us the feedback that that's really creating um, a creative and inspiring environment for them to work in. So one of the main features that we looked at was the lighting and making sure that the indoor environmental quality that we were providing the users would be comfortable, it would be glare free, it would be an environment where they could come to work and hopefully leave feeling better at the end of the day without having stress headaches or um, eye strains. We've also been focusing on other aspects of, of wellness in our choice of materials that we've used throughout the buildings, whether that's paints or carpets or ceilings, and looking at the how that might, the actual products that are used in those, right down to the cleaning products that we use, all with a focus on, on health and wellness. Yeah, it's been a great journey to be able to see how an idea of creating a home that's 
produces well-being of its occupants can actually turn into a reality and it really has. I think if you ask people how they've felt since they've been in the building, it's, it is an overall sense of calmness. Um, people are loving coming to work, which is great in itself. And it's, it's been a nice journey to see that. We're expecting the, the natural materials to have a positive benefit on productivity, concentration um, and the creativity of our staff. Well, we started by passively designing the building. So actually thinking about which way is the building facing, where is the sun coming from, what sort of heat gains are we going to get in this building, and hence the design of the glazing system and the shading that's on the building to reduce that amount of heat that's coming into the building so that we, as people, don't feel too hot inside. And that means, well, the air conditioning system then is smaller and therefore uses less energy. So interestingly, with the timber, we've reduced, when we compare to, say, a concrete building of similar size and nature, we've reduced the embodied energy by about 75% in this building by using timber. We've also then, through the passive design elements in the building, and we do have renewable energy in the building as well, reduce our energy use by about 45%. And similarly, we've reduced our water by about 25% as well. So the building has really um, encouraged a change of behaviour almost immediately, and uh, that has been great to see. I, I love the fact that, that when you look around and you see people walking into the building, staff and, and even just people that come to the building, the first thing they do is they walk over and they touch, touch the, the columns or the, the braces. Um, I think people are excited to be here. I think that the calming effect of the timber, people seem to be happy uh, and relaxed. We're also seeing um, a, a real positive feedback from our clients who visited the space. They've been very surprised when they come into the building, found it so welcoming um, and really wanted to stay and work with staff um, and continue on uh, collaborating, meeting, workshopping ideas because of the nature of the building. I love the collaboration that we're able to achieve at 25 King with different teams. So since we've moved into this building, instead of going to the same desk, same floor, on a daily basis and then having to find different people um, from projects that you're working on, you're able to set up meetings and um, I guess catch up sessions at breakout spaces in areas where you're able to co-create and develop design and work on your projects in a creative manner. Post moving in, I've gotten that reassurance from everybody. Everybody has said how much they love it, prefer it and just enjoy coming to work. And for me, getting that verification of what we've done, I can only be happy and proud of working on this project and where we've come so far. We feel that 25 King is a real differentiator for us. In terms of our brand, um, it really emphasises the unconventional nature of Oricon's approach to, to solutions. So the move to 25 King has definitely been good for business.